It's one of those bad weeks again. I mean, y'all heard the diatribe, so I don't need to tell you why, but it doesn't stop there. So before we dive into the nasty shit, I want to offer up some good news from, of all places, North Carolina, where the Senate is getting around to making rape illegal for realsies this time. The bill, SB 553, reverses a 1979 North Carolina Supreme Court decision, which ruled that a man who rapes a woman can't be convicted of rape if she had initially agreed, but then asked him to stop. And while it's good news, the fact that it took almost 40 years for the Senate to get around to fixing it is pretty fucking despicable. And let's not go counting any chicken jet because it's still entirely possible that some pastor will come along to object to this thing and I'll have to talk about it again next week. But before anyone gets uncomfortable with how similar North Carolina is to Egypt, let's distract them by talking about some of the fucked up shit that's going on over there this week. Aw oh, shit, it's an Egyptian cleric saying he wishes Egypt were a bit more like North Carolina. Damn. Yes, Sheikh Mohammed al Mala, an Egyptian cleric who appeared in a debate about marital rape, behaved, well, the way the for the motion side of debate about marital rape would be expected to. In fact, he went as far as to say that women are, quote, categorically not allowed to deny their husband's sex. And if they do, they are rebelling against Allah. Here's the full quote for you. One of the reasons for marriage is so that the husband can remain chaste. If the wife denies her husband's sex, it opens the way for the husband to seek abomination and adultery. Besides, you cannot call this religious concept rape when Allah allowed this contract between husband and wife. How can this be rape? Did he kidnap her and is now having sex with her? No, she is his wife. And when he summons her, she must comply. End quote. Well, it's good to know that rape is like getting pulled over by a cop. I don't want to go make Allah mad or, you know, get cursed by some angels, as al Malah says. Now, would I? And speaking of women getting fucked, I take you now to Missouri. They made my shit list this week for a new bill in the state Senate that would make it legal for employers and landlords to discriminate against women who use birth control or have had abortions. The bill, which has the support of the governor, passed the state Senate on June 14th in response to an ordinance passed by the city of St. Louis in which Grettens said it made the area into an abortion sanctuary city. Jesus, how about a few more I'm an idiot buzzwords, guys? Maybe an abortion welfare queen sanctuary city choice Obamacare felt cuck. And to think, this time last week, I'd have confidently predicted the courts would strike down this fucking law. So with a quick reminder that turning the show off now is still illegal in uh, North Carolina, you know, what with your pre-consent and all, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 